Uh, this last bit is going to be dedicated to a, a gate puzzle that we may or may not have time to solve, depending on if how long Zero will last. But, uh, you know what, we'll give it a try. Leave to start the gate puzzle, you must trigger this switch. But we've already got the gates open, so it didn't do anything. And thus, the gate puzzle begins. Metal shutters come down. Alright, so... Your goal is to get to this gate to the north, and get out. Okay, this is a terrible set to run into, because the, uh, the Deep Maiden stopped the Deep Raiders from taking the magic damage you want them to take, so... Attack Protect. I'm going to try the Typhoon Bolt combo. It may or may not go through. We still want the uh, Damascus Edge from the Raiders, but I'm not super worried about it, really. We're going to be able to get it eventually, anyway. Whether I force myself to sit down and get it, or we just coincidentally get it. Oh, the elephants. Elephants, pardon me. Singular. So there's the diselement stopping me from absolutely murdering everything. There's the elephants stopping them from murdering me. There we go. Miss the elephant in time, that's fine. Sarah's got a level up. She already got her first level in Bull Prophecy, so it means it's starting to start going towards Ice Prophecy. And that's going to need Ice Star 5, Binary Ice 5, and Ice Prophecy 5, of course. But we need Ice Mastery to 5 as well, so we start on Ice Mastery. She should have this done before we fight the final boss, so we should be okay. Right, the goal of this puzzle is to get through this gate. Unfortunately for you, there are pits riddled everywhere, making you have to figure out which pits lead you to the switch on the other end of the puzzle, and then you need to not only hit that switch, you need to come back without closing the gate again. Uh, which isn't, that, that isn't the hard part. The hard part is navigating the maze. So... Hold on to your butts. We might not run into fights very frequently because of this, but, uh... We will be greatly inconvenienced because we don't know the way. What I should say. So, this goes up. There was something behind us. Uh, but we go up these stairs, and it looks like these stairs are the way of progress. So, so far, so good. We found the first part of the puzzle. Oops, we are also mapping this wrong. Uh, we have solved the first part of this puzzle, I do think. Or I'm pretty sure that is the first pit we fall down, and then it's this one. And it will take us into some place completely different, and uh, this puzzle is quite the annoyance. Uh, before you fall down pits, you feel free to uh, map the area a little bit more efficiently, so that you can... Uh, you have a better sense of where what's where. This time we've ended up in a place where there is no immediate exit, and the encounter rate must be high because we've already run into a fight. And it's this one, which is easily handled, but uh, not what you want to run. What not what you want? Wow, English. Not what you want to run into. I'm going to do guard protect strats and then have the epic charge binary thunder. This is where Zero runs out of TP unless I use an Amrita 2 on her. Um, I'm not sure how far we can get without it. In addition, Gandra is out of, out of TP, Kiara is running out of TP, everyone's running out of TP, so this is going to be an issue. We'll see how big of an issue it becomes. I'd say Zara has... Nope, she can't ever charge anything other than Typhoon Bolt now. So that's probably what her last set is going to look like. Is there a shortcut here? No, I'm hallucinating. Alright, so let's go up these stairs. 
gonna take us here. Did I remember to mark the uh, dead end as a spot that you fall down on? No, I did not. Lord, this puzzle. Alright, well, we can go that way. There's going to be a place we haven't been before, or we can go to the left. Uh, both of them look appealing. I'm gonna start by going this way. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of any stairs I see in order to reset the insane encounter rate that we're running into. Right, so that curves off to the left. That's a pit over there. Not sure which direction is the right one. I'm gonna step down these stairs real quick and see what's up. I'm not going to go far. That looks like it's where the pit lands. In fact, it probably is, which would totally make it pointless. And that also looks like a place where a pit would land. But there's no way to tell from here. Alright, so we know that the pit to our east is of no use to us. So let's go this way. Now this is a pit that could lead us somewhere good. It will also reset the encounter rate for us, which is probably the more important part at this moment, because I really don't want to run into fights and I've already used my warp times. Let's see, it looks like it has a little bit of a stretching out in the back. Let's fall down. What's this here? Now we haven't been here yet, so we might find something interesting. Hmm. We got stairs here. No, it won't let me reset the encounter rate. Alright, this is where we become cheap cheapskates and start using protect order and nothing else. Uh it is unfortunate. We're gonna call the elephant in. Because we're gonna have enough time to dismiss it, so. Winona and Kiara are going to be the MVPs of the next few fights. Confused a suit of armor, very classic. This time we didn't care the snake that's naturally scared of elephants, but whatever. We're doing decent physical damage, which is why I'm willing to do this. Uh, the part where this is going to all fall apart is the fact that this knight has a lot of physical defense and is going to take forever to kill. Uh, but nonetheless, we will try. Okay, so one more turn of protect order. Okay, he's out. Good. Good. Anyways, going that way looks like it leads to the solution of the puzzle because I remember what the solution of the puzzle looks like. In fact, I'm pretty sure I just committed to the solution of the puzzle and somehow did not find all the, uh, the dead ends. Which is a miracle within itself, trust me. There was no reason to come over here, why did I do that? Let's go down the stairs, reset the encounter rates. Because I'm a pansy, no one to run into fights right now. What makes this pit different from the pit I was just at? Well, this pit's going to reset the encounter rates. But is that really where I want to go? Looks like there's going to be some downstairs over there. Maybe? That looks like the light that comes off from the stairs at that pillar. Hmm, I'm not sure if you can see what I'm talking about. There's a slightly blue pillar. Eh. I'm going to say there's stairs there until I can't get there. So we're going to fall down this pit. Now we can see the cross section here and the fact that there's no pits. Surprisingly in this little area there's a wall on the far end and it probably means that these are pillars. GG. Alright, we somehow managed to just barely miss the place where we want to be which is that switch, which is going to open all the gates, which is what we want to do in the first place. But it seems like this is just going to loop back around to the stairs that I thought I saw earlier. Which it does. Very nice. So we didn't lose anything by going down that pit, really. 
just a little bit of time. That and we avoided running into a fight, so maybe that pit was actually worthwhile for us. Okay, there's a pit down here. This is also a pit we don't really want to fall down. Doesn't lead somewhere we want to be. In fact, this pit... Oh. Maybe that is the pit we want. Alright, hang on. No, we've already fallen down this one, but I want to inset the, reset the encounter rate and take a better look about what's here. Okay, we have a... We have this... Pretty sh No, that's the, uh wall with the, uh, yeah. So it only has two exits, it seems? Okay. Let's go over here. Oh, there's a pit here as well. But this isn't going to lead anywhere important. No, it's not. In fact, this led somewhere completely different. Well, it did lead to a treasure chest, so I'm feeling a little bit less guilty for falling down this hole. What is- what are you? A vigor book. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I appreciate you showing up. Ah, there is the third exit. I knew there was a third exit attached to the switch, I just didn't know where it was. Now, if I remember right, the correct exit is the south one. I'm not sure about that. So, what we do is we go up. Uh, we know that we must fall down in this pit over here now. And the goal now is to get back to where we started. Alright, so we open the doors. So, first we've got to find one that doesn't close the doors behind us. Okay, that one doesn't close the door behind you. Oops, wrong rag. Wrong way. Dang it. Alright, so the gate didn't close behind us there. I'm pretty sure... Maybe there... Maybe... Non, do none of the gates... I'm pretty sure one of the gates closed behind you. That doesn't close behind you. Oh, it closes when you go inside. Oh well, yeah, that's gonna be true for both of these. What about this one? Is this one closed if you leave this way? No. They all close when you go inside. Oh. So I'm pretty sure south is the correct solution, because it allows you to get back. This is not a set I wanted to run into. Uh, we're gonna use guard protect. Attack. We can't really do this. Call the elephant in. Pretty sure the big snake head is nemesis number one. We will use our last fire star on him. Nice. where things get confusing, because you need to find your way backwards through this puzzle. Uh, so you need to keep comparing the 15th and 16th floor pit drops to see if they will take you where you want to go. Uh, let's see. In this case, we want to use this pitfall to go backwards. Because we had discovered it earlier for the convenience of making us go backwards. We will take advantage of these stairs to reset the encounter rates. And not because they lead us anywhere. Right, now obviously we don't want to run into the pit at the end here, so we're gonna need to find a different pit. This pit looks good enough. 
We haven't been down this one, or anywhere in this general direction at all, actually. But, uh, it's, well, it's the only place we haven't been yet, so we fall. See, the stairwell over to our right, nothing over to our left. This is a landing point. Let's see, yeah, there's really nothing over there. There could be an event over there. Am I that curious? Yeah, I am that curious, apparently. And apparently it does lead somewhere. That's something like vines are visible underneath, but the stone floor seems quite heavy. If you pried away the tiles, you could investigate, but there's always a threat of danger here. Are you crafting to hold the stone, grip your teeth, and pull with your strength? However, the stone does not budge. You simply don't have the strength at the moment. You give up on tantalizing vines. Uh, this is a strength check. And we don't have any characters that surpass the strength check that have once, so... We're gonna have to come back for this. Also, we're gonna run into a fight. Because I'm a sucker for treasure. Got an ebony shard. That is a rare drop from the... Uh, from the knights, but, uh... Well, more on that later, I guess. It's just a rare drop. It's not like that's actually useful in it. Well, it's probably useful in something, but it's just a rare drop. I'm glad we got the rare drop. Actually found the rare, rare drop before we needed to pull out a specialized team member just to find rare drops, but that's fine. Uh, we just learned that going down that pit is not the way of victory, so we need to find another pit that does lead to the way of victory. Um, I'm not sure if this is the one. Maybe I've missed the solution. Wow, the encounter rate is still insane. It's like they bump their, their encounter rate way up after you run down a pit or something. Uh, last set, per this is potentially the last set we can use stuff on. We're gonna use Typhoon Bolt, yes. Um, and we're going to summon in the elephants again, because the elephant in Protect Order is what is currently keeping us alive, so we will use them. Pretty much the only reason we're alive. Typhoon bolts. Super weak, but it did deal with one of the mediums for us, so we're happy about that. I'm so glad we have. I'm so glad we have one level in this Miss Beast. I wouldn't have been able to use the elephants nearly as much. Put himself in confusion, always good. going up. Yeah, and this leads us to the other side so that we can finally get out of here, right? 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 That's that's what it does, right? It gets us out of here? That's what I'm hoping it does. See, that turns over there, does this, that is connected like this, and that's the solution to the puzzle. Hooray! We only had to go down every pit. Ah, uh, shutters. Okay. There's a few events we could tackle while we're here. Um... I'm gonna trigger all the shortcuts first, because really, that's what the first- that's the first thing saying- that's the first thing a same person does, is they trigger all the shortcuts they can get to. Um, that's a way to open the gates. Pretty sure close behind us. Um, there are three holes in the altar. It seems that the tablets will fit into them. The order of which to fulfill Patabob's request, you decide to try replacing the tablets inside. The sky tablet goes... the forest. It says there's man, nature, and man. Well, I know it's man, something, something. I'm pretty sure it's the left hole. And this goes on the right. Ooh! Whoa! <laughs> Oops! Well, that's hilarious. Um... Hmm. Well, we can keep getting her hit in the face, it doesn't matter. Okay, the earth tablet's probably where the forest is, so the sky tablet goes in the top hole. Uh, the earth tablet goes in the left hole. And the man tablet goes in the right hole. Saying the panel and moves aside, a set of unique antique armor is inside the compartment. It fits you perfectly. 
seems a suit of armor dedicated to people of the ancient city. In any case, you have fulfilled the request and decided to make the, take the armor back with you. The antique armor. Doesn't seem to actually be armor we can use, but... Eh, that's a good stopping point, so... We get out. We out. Okay, let's see here. Magic shards. Monster bone. Heart skulls. Ebony shards. Give us the winged spear. Nito. And a Kiminari Otashi. What on earth is a Kiminari Otashi? I don't want to buy that at a discount. 13,123 attack. I keep running into... Is that better than the Dongo? I can't tell because the stupid thing is stupid. Okay, that's... Okay, the Dangosashi is... Better than the Wazakashi. I can't afford this. So I can't tell if it's better than the Dangosashi or not. That is- okay, it does 123- it has 123 attack. What does the, this have? It doesn't tell me! Oh my god! That is so annoying. 117 is better than the Dangosashi. Got it! Christ, why does it have to be that difficult? Uh, knocked a knife and some helmets. Hariki Hamatata, or Hamata, that's nice. Cast Iron Hilts, gives us nothing. Nail. This is access to the flame amulet. We're starting to get the resistance amulets, it seems. Alright, let's buy things. No, we're not buying the discounts. We're buying an Aradni thread. Uh, let's see, we're gonna buy some tents. You guys are getting pretty far in the stratum, and I want to make it far. Nectar will be fine. Yeah, that's good enough. Do I want any? No, no jars. Things are expensive. Sell this hide armor. I don't think I'm ever actually going to use the energy bracelet. Now we can buy the weapon. Not at a discount. Let's see. Why does it default to the second weapon? I really wonder. Okay, those up to 200. Yeah, it's not that big of an upgrade. We won't worry about it. This is de this is not better than the. Nope, didn't even have a chance. Armor. Go up by six. Um. I'm gonna go with not worth, and that's all there is to it. Go over to the Butterfly Bistro, turn these quests in. Uh, we ha we yeah, we don't have any spearhead chips or anything, so we don't have artisan's curiosity. Play hammer. Such a little misforgetful phase, a completely spaced out and giving you rewards. Sorry, please take, also take armor. Oh, Battle is the only one to know the mystery of the carvings. What a nice guy. So they give me the armor too. Take it, it's yours. Plate hammer, plate coats. Well, I only have one character that wears heavy armor, so if it's if this is majestically better than the field armor, which it isn't, uh, so never mind. Uh, comrade sleeping below, 6,000 in. We kind of kind of a little, little broke, so a little bit of money doesn't hurt us. Seems that the sword belonged to Denton's partner, who died not so long on the beat 15th floor. He must have wanted Denton to remember how they would go on adventures together. Remember everyone you know. Explorers, merchants, survivors, and the dead. Then the explorer's job is to go exploring, and this is the least I can do for him. Seems to be all my Okay, take this. 6,000 in. Experience. Okay. Let's see here. Wait, do we- did he- do we, are we keeping the ghost sword? Hammer, do, 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 do. Diary page, general pattern. No, we're not keeping it. Okay. Right, that's all there is to it. All right. So hey there, everyone. This has been Life for guys. Always, thank you for watching. Next time, we continue exploration of the 15th and 16th floor. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys then. Bye bye.